What's going on guys? Welcome to Steve Does Stuff. I'm Steve and today we're going to be doing some drift car stuff. So after about a year and a half of Rhett's A86 being down, getting the turbo kit put on it, it is finally time to take it to the dyno. So unfortunately the people that we trust most for the dyno are BR Tuning and they are all the way located in Calabogie, which is approximately four and a half hours from where we are in Toronto. So it was a real early day, uh, up early, long drive, spent all day there made some unbelievably good noises. And he has got a very nice working car. So filmed as much as I could along the way. Here's how it went. It is very early in the morning, 4.17. Just about to start a five hour drive from here in Toronto to be our tuning in Calabogie. Let's get it. Here she is. That little piglet is ready to go. Got her strapped down. Gonna be sans bumper today, just to make it easier to strap to the dyno. But it's always been about the color coordination. So we got the white Dodge. It's a white 86. Gonna be a long drive. This nugget is get it up to temperature about 180 then we're going to swap out plugs for fresh ones so they're not so sooted up and crappy we got to wrap the oil feed tea and we're we're laughing we're ready for the dyno and it's a beautiful very cold very still wintry day here at uh, br tuning calabogie motorsports park so what do you think she's going to make on the dyno uh everything i've kind of looked up online i think pump because it's bone stock I think like 305, 310. 305? I'd be pretty happy there. Uh, I think I'd be disappointed anything under 280. I think that's reasonable. Uh, we've seen E85 cars make close to four, but because this is just pump gas, uh, 91, 94, uh, yeah, like low, really low 300s, I'm thinking. High? I think 330 wheel, 340 wheel maybe high, but uh, I think that's pushing her. I think uh, we'll kick the rods out of her at that point. All right, so we don't want to go there. You gotta be happy with three, the 300 mark, and that'd be sick. And this thing will fly. It's small, right? It's, yeah. It's What's it weigh? 2250, 2300 probably. So. Yeah. Okay. 300 is gonna go a long yeah, way. Yeah. 100. All right. Well, let's get her up to temp and rip some plugs out. Yeah. So once we're up to temperature, this oil tee right down here still has a tiny wee little leak on it. 
good mess with it earlier. We didn't want to break it off. We didn't want to mess anything up. So once we're up to temp, we change up the plug. We're just going to zip tie the hell out of it, wrap a rag on it, and we should be good to go. There's no denying it is cold and it's trying to snow right now. Let's drive this thing over to the dyno. Here we go. Gear would help. What is happening? Where is this clutch? Oh, that's reverse. Power steering. Oh, no power steering light. shaft in there and she's pretty buried sick old car though I guess he was trying to LS swap this Third dyno pull all the way to 6600 rpm. I think he said he added a degree of timing to it. Got to about 285 wheel horsepower. Uh, torque is staying and peaking at around 3900 at 258, I believe. I think it's got a little bit more up top, but we are limited by turbo. So overall, it's not bad. This thing is a full NA motor, no head gasket, no nothing like that. Just running on 94 with the uh, G Series uh, copy. Gonna get some pizza and keep doing some pulls. So pull number five made 299 at 7,000 RPM. Torque is definitely basically limited to 258, 260 at around 4,000, but 
We are still operating on just wastegate pressure right now. Basically only playing with timing. So it's gonna make some steam. I'm thinking we're gonna crack low threes hopefully, but it's sounding and looking on wastegate only so he has an eight pound spring in there but we are creeping to about nine pounds of boost just trying to figure out a mac valve wiring issue right now it uh, was wired in but for whatever reason a leftover relay from the nitro system is being excited when we should be turning on the mac valve so they're trying to figure that out i'm trying to flag down a pizza guy and uh the boost noises will continue shortly works for sure so we got the mac valve fixed up uh i had to do some butchered wiring that we're not really going to show anybody but essentially the mac valve bleeds pressure to the top of the wastegate to force it closed so we we're running about eight to nine pounds of boost before now we're gonna tickle it with some more with the mac valve and see what happens <laughs> Frenchie Parade! The wolf pack is here! Oh my god, there's more in the woods! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is insane. That is awesome! 
So after being there from nine in the morning till about four in the afternoon, we finally got the car dialed, took it for a little rip as you could see, and then we started the four and a half, which turned into basically five and a half hour drive home. We ended up stopping off at Mike Cattell's place from GT Customs. He's got a great little spot in an unbelievable shop with some beautiful cars in it. All in all, a pretty flawless day, save for some minor wiring inconveniences. Brett's got a super healthy 320 wheel horse turbo beams A6. Nothing bad went happen. Great day with buddies doing car stuff. Can't ask for much more than that. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate you very much. See you next time.